Hi guys and thanks for finding my channel and watching this video. As you can see from the title, it's my empties video. So without further ado, it speaks for itself. I'm just going to get straight into it. If you see me moving some boxes from the top of my bag, things like this, um, it's new products and I like to keep all the boxes. Um, but I'm not going to talk about the product because they're new and they're not empties yet. So if you see me moving things around, I'm not being discreet on what I talk to you about. I just don't want to talk to you about a product that's new and not finished yet. So that said, first out of the bag is the Garnier Body Summer Body. I've been using this one, probably got it for Christmas in fact, and I went to replace it because I have repurchased many of these and I get the lighter one, like light to medium. I have tried the medium to dark but I just find it goes on a bit more patchier on my skin. Um, so yeah I went to buy another one of those and they didn't have it on offer in Boots so I picked up the Dove version and I usually steer clear of this Dove one because it's a little bit more of that smell that we don't really want as in biscuity, cookie kind of, you know that fake tan smell. But this looks like different packaging. It was a paler brown colour. It says Visible Glow, so it's slightly different product that I actually have tried before. And I thought the smell was pleasant enough. And it is. You can smell it on your skin more than the Garnier one. But it's okay. So I thought I'd give it a go. I got the fair to medium. It's a hefty sized bottle, actually. What's the difference? Oh, that's only 250 mil, and that's 400 mil. So, yeah, this is what I'll be smelling like for the next couple of months. So, then, I'm just going to mention to you about my beautiful number seven from Boots. It's a hot cloth cleanser that I rave about. Absolutely love it. Repurchase it time and time again. And I'm a tiny bit cheating, because I've probably got one more little face wash in here, which I'm saving for tomorrow. But I wanted to talk to you because I didn't want to keep this packaging hanging around till I next get around to an empties. And because it's quite a newish thing at the moment, I wanted to bring it to your attention. Number seven have changed the formula and the packaging for the hot cloth cleanser. I went to repurchase and the lady in the store told me, oh no, they're just repackaging, all the same ingredients, so absolutely all fine. And in fact, it does actually say that it's got vitamin C, E, and B5, and red ginseng in it as well. They actually whacked an extra three plus pound on the price and just sort of brought out some new packaging. The thing I didn't like about it, because I've only tried this a couple of times, because like I say, I'm still working my way through this one, it's fine. I think it's going to be pretty much the same. I can't say I noticed a difference when working it into my face. I did notice a tiny bit difference in the texture. This one's, it's still cream-like, but tiny bit more gel-like, this one. Only a tiny bit. Hardly recognisable, but I recognised it. And I massaged it all over my face, and I particularly go around my fine lines, because I feel that the um, original product really smoothed out my under eye area and I think this did it. Like I say, I can't comment overly. I've only used it a couple of mornings. What I can comment on, okay, not only has the price increased, but that's your hot cloth cleanser. Look, can you see? It literally is the size of my face, a tiny bit bigger than my hand. So when you get it wet under the tap, I like to just put it all over my face and just let it seep in all that lovely warm to hot water. But you, you can't do this, you've kind of got to wipe off one half at a time. This was the original size cloth from the first packaging. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger, isn't it? So I could put that over my entire face and just let the warm water absorb the product into my skin. This, half the size for more money. And enough said. I will continue to use the product, but I'm just saying, all right? Anyway, next up, I think I might have two of these. Gosh, yes I have. Yes, I like this product. It's a hairspray, and I like any hairspray, basically, that just helps out the humidity and the wet weather, and it's a hold for 24 hours. I've mentioned it before, but I do love it. In case you missed it, it was the VO5 Ultimate Hold Hairspray. Next, oh sorry if I keep ducking down under the camera, that's really irritating I'm sure, but my bag is falling over. So next up 
is a very grotty bottle from the Super Facialist by Una Brennan and it's the Vitamin C Plus Brighten Skin Renewal Cleansing Oil. Absolutely love this product, have repurchased it and started using the other one. It just smells so gorgeous, it's so thick and oily but in a good way and it just removes any remnants of the makeup which I've already taken off. I do use this as my double cleanse step. Absolutely love it, 200ml, lasted many many months, I would imagine way before Christmas, so probably lasted me a good 5-6 to six months, I would say. Okay, next what have I got, a shampoo from the Aussie shampoo brand, this was the Miracle Moist, um, really like that one, um, yeah I do, I've got a replacement already and I'm using their 3 minute mask and their conditioner as well so I do really like that shampoo again a little favorite I've mentioned many a time and I have obviously repurchased and there's a new one upstairs this is the Lee Stafford Coco Loco light serum spray absolutely love this smells gorgeous leaves your hair lovely and smooth and soft and if your hair is a little bit drying with perhaps colouring and all the heat that we add to it this just sort of separates and smooths everything out and I just really really like this product hand cream again I'm a bit of a creature of habit if I find a product I enjoy and that works for me I buy it again I buy it again because I don't like to waste my money and this is the Palmer's coconut oil formula coconut oil hand cream love this one out of the Palmer's range it smells nicer than some of the other ranges they're a bit like that sort of coconut chocolatey scent which I'm not really into I find it quite strong and I tend to use this particular hand cream at night time it's by my bed and I put it on last thing before I go to sleep so I don't want anything too overpowering I don't mind during the day and all my other hand creams that's fine absolutely love this really subtle fresh coconut scent and it's really moisturizing on your hands in case you wondered now I had a little impulse instant crush body fragrancing and this I just used to if I just wanted a bit of a freshen up on the weekend or maybe I changed my outfit and I just wanted to have a spritz around on my clothes I would just sort of freshen up with this I don't rush out to repurchase them but sometimes I get bought them maybe for Christmas or a little stocking filler or something and that's probably to be fair where this one came from it's okay Next up is John Frieda Frizz Ease and it's the Straight and Fixation Styling Cream. Repurchased already, I had a backup of this a long time ago so I've gone into the new one now and absolutely love it. Um, at the point of styling, so you've washed your hair, I've gone in with my Lee Stafford Loco Coco spray and then I just put a little bit of this in my hand and just so smooth it all over my hair just so that on my second day when I don't wash my hair the curl hasn't sort of all pinged back and it stayed sort of a bit straighter with a wave that I can add in. Okay, so I really and do I like that one. And I finished perfume, guys. I don't do that very often, but I'm trying to use up my old supply, shall we say, stash. There are some gorgeous perfumes out there at the moment. I've got at least three new ones on my hit list I want at some point, but I want to kind of clear out the backlog. So I finish up this one from DKNY. It's the Belicious. There is a tiny bit in there floating around, you can see it, but just the spritzer just won't get it out, so I've ditched it. It's the pink one, not the green, not the red. I don't know if there's another one in there, but anyway, it's the pink one. It's a really nice scent. Would I purchase it again? Probably, but if it was bought for me, I'd be okay. I don't know that I would actually buy it, because there's so many gorgeous ones, like I say, out there at the moment. Next, Nivea repurchase this every time have a new one on the go and it's the two-in-one the double effect eye makeup remover it's the one that's sort of bluey purple halfway up and then clear so you shake it all up and mix the oils and everything together takes off your eye makeup fantastically so i always get it when it's on an offer it works next what have we got here oh oh sorry got some hair on it as well it's the hair growth by lee stafford the scalp serum to try and promote my hair growth I think it might be working I'm already on another bottle and I'm um, halfway through the other bottle so really really like this one and I will continue to use it until I kind of don't want to grow my hair anymore um, oh what's this this is a very old aloe vera 
Um, don't even know where I got this. It's by a brand called Valona. Probably in Superdrug or somewhere like that. I've had it for ages and I used to use it if I was um, waxing or shaving and got any ingrowing hairs or any sort of sore patches where perhaps I didn't have enough lubrication and I used the razor and it was just a bit sore. I used to pop that on it. Can't say I've used it very often and that's why it's lasted so long and looks a bit grotty. I would repurchase it because it is sort of useful to have in your stash. What's this? This is from Avon and it's the Planet Spa. Oh, it's their pillow mist and it's got lavender and calomel. Oh, gorge. Absolutely love it. Already got another one. Again, I pick it up when Avon has it, has it on an offer and I just spritz it all over the inside of the bed sheets sometimes and on my night attire. Absolutely love it. Does it help me sleep? No, probably not. Just makes the sheets smell nice and my BJs smell nice. Now, Ted Baker hand cream. I was pretty impressed with this actually. I thought I got it for Christmas. I got it for Christmas a lot. Could have been the Christmas before the last Christmas because that's a big old tube and I've got more than one hand cream. Um, smelled really nice and it wasn't just all about the scent and the packaging, even though the packaging is pretty cute as well. Obviously, as Ted Baker goes, it's going to be, isn't it? But it did actually work. It was a really good hand cream. I put it on last thing before going out to work in the day. Um, yeah, and I didn't really apply it until the next. It tend to sort of be a one application a day, um, hence that's probably why it lasted me quite so long. But it was a really good hand cream not just looked pretty as well. Next, what have I got in here? I have a night cream from Super Facialist by Una Brennan. It's the Vitamin C Plus Brighten Sleep and Reveal Hand Cream. Uh, hand cream? Night cream. Absolutely love this. It's a pot. Some people don't like pots of cream because you have to stick your finger in. I always used to keep the little cover here just to secure it up every time. I'd used it, I used to put that cover back on, so I sort of thought it helped sort of secure everything in and not let too much bacteria or whatever get in it. But it's got a really pleasant scent. I have repurchased another night cream, it's in their rose hydrating something or other, I think. Anyway, yeah, I just love Super Facialist Una Brennan brand, um, I think their products are fantastic, so we'll definitely repurchase that and have, but in a different range of her brand. A moisture balm mask. I kept this one because this one's really good. It's for fatigued skin. It's the Garnier Skin Active one there. Super hydrating, detiring mask. Absolutely love any one of these. They come in four or five different colours for different things, different types of skin and really enjoyed that one. Found it very moisturising. I also like these little eye masks from Primark. I may have mentioned these before as well. You get four little masks for a pound and they're literally, they just sit under your eye here if you're having a particularly bad morning when you wake up and you think, oh my God, did I even sleep last night? Just pop these on where you go about your business for 10 minutes or so and there, it does say dark circle reducing sunflower eye patches. I don't know if it actually reduced my dark circles but it just made that area a little bit more awake, shall we say. A deodorant from Dove. This is just the original and it's a compressed and I love Dove deodorant. Use them all the time, repurchase all the time. So what else can I say about that? Gorgeous. <laughs> so much so. I've got two in here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got three in there. This one actually is my favourite. It says the Invisible Dry and it's got the white top. And I really like that. It's got that kind of lovely lingering after scent, which I like. I like both. But maybe this one a tiny bit more. Oh, look. The hand cream I mentioned earlier. You can tell I like it, can't you? Because I have two more here. The Coco Coconut Formula Hand Cream. What else have we got? Oh, this was a Christmas gift. Um, and it's from Boots. It's their own brand. And it's Boots Extract. And this was the Cranberry Body Wash. This was nice as a body wash. Obviously, it was. I think it was a limited edition. It was a pack at Christmas. It was a really nice smell. Didn't overly moisturise, but then I don't really overly look for that because I add moisture, moisturiser to my body after my shower. It just sort of washed my body. Smelt really nice. I don't expect I'll be able to get it again now because it's cranberry and that was probably for Christmas. It did come with a tub of 
scrub rubbish let's just say um it's in my shower still and i will probably end up chucking it out before using it up it's globby it looks like peanut butter when you put it on your skin the grains in it are useless and it really when i use a scrub i want a really good body scrub so i don't like the scrub this was okay oh another deodorant this one is meachums this was the roll-on this is the pink powder fresh i've got another one i think i've got the yellow one lemon or something so do actually like this deodorant it does work if you're feeling a bit sweaty what have i got here another mask this one's from simple this is sensitive skin expert kind to skin and it's a rich moisture sheet mask this was really really nice actually no better than the garnier sheet mask but as good i'd wanted to try it out because i hadn't tried it before exactly the same looking mask nothing different about it and my skin felt nice afterwards so i like that oh and also look another repeat of my lee stafford coco loco light serum spray i think i like this what have i got here this one's super drug simply pure and this is a hydrating serum this was okay i tend to buy the cheaper serums or two in ones something like that just to sort of put on my neck and perhaps the top of my chest area i use my nicer more hydrating slightly more expensive serums for my face and then to save on the product i might pick up one that's on an offer for two or three pound and then i use that on my neck and my chest area and that was one of them i would repurchase it like i say it was okay but i wouldn't kind of rush to put that on my face like i say it's neck and chest only no okay, sorry about that guys just threw that on the floor anyway it's the pixie glow tonic five percent glycolic acid really really love this product have repurchased got another one on the go i have bought one from nip and fab and it said it was six percent glycolic acid i don't know i've used that a couple of times and i'm not sure if it's irritated my skin or not i've come up with a tiny bit of texture here i don't know i don't know if it's that i didn't know that glycolic acid would particularly irritate my skin so i don't know if it is that there are a couple of new products i'm using so it could be anything but this is sure and safe so i go back to it because i know i can trust the product it doesn't aggravate my skin at all absolutely love this it just definitely i think anyway has brightened my skin i've been using it for a very long time this is probably my second or my third so way into last year i tried it for the first time and have been using it constantly morning and night pretty much um i think it's improved the skin texture of my face that's just me anyway next up oh look i've got another double action eye makeup remover 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 from nivea i like this one and oh i hadn't realized i had one in the bottom of my bag already um enough said about number seven hot cloth cleanser i've already talked about it but as you can tell i like it and i just hope the new version i don't know how much of the product has changed if at all like i say i do feel that the texture had altered a little bit but i hope what's inside it is as amazing as this one um just a bit peeved about the price and the cloth anyway been there done that i'm moving on okay and what else have i got oh, i've got a little blusher and the reason why i chucked this out is because i've had it for way too long basically but i wanted to mention it because I've repurchased it and it's from I think it's Superdrug I think you can get collection in boots as well anyway it's from the brand collection and it they've changed the packaging a tiny bit the front of the blusher looks a tiny bit different now but still a round disc it's in the number four trouble and I really really like it like I say it's a perfect shade if you like pinky mauves and I kind of do I'm drawn to those um, shades and this one's not matte it's got a tiny bit of shimmer in it but just enough to give a nice glow not too shimmery so I just really really like it found it easily two years ago probably longer and that's why I want to get rid of this one but I got a new one so next up, so I've got some samples from Kiehl's and I just wanted to mention them they are samples I'm sorry but I really really liked the midnight recovery um, concentrate and their eye cream 
this was bought in like a gift bag when I was in America last year. I got this one in it and this one. So I have since bought the full size of the Daily Reviving Concentrate. Really, really like that. Probably wish I'd bought this though in the full size instead. But hey ho, I'm enjoying the day one so it's fine. Maybe this one will be the next purchase. But every time I buy a full size in Kiehl's, I always ask for a little sample of their eye cream please. And this is the Midnight Recovery Eye. Really, really beautiful eye cream and talking of eye creams my last product I wanted to mention is from Olay Eyes absolutely love this product I bought it probably around about a year ago I reckon when the Olay brought out three different products in their new eye range absolutely love this product it perfectly smooths out and just clears those little fine lines back a little bit just takes back probably about five years that's good enough for me lovely little pot which I thought I'd repurchase. So I picked up this little, this is the box. I've got the pot that I'm still working through upstairs. It's not exactly the same as this one. I thought it was, but it's the Olay Total Effects, the seven signs of aging and all the rest of it. Eye transforming cream, very similar looking product to this one. So don't be fooled. <laughs> it, no, I won't say that because I do really like this product as well. It's a different texture. It's not quite so smoothing on the fine lines, but it's a really nice eye cream. But anyway, this one, yeah, could see myself repurchasing this one when this one's out. But anyway, I had to mention it because it's a lovely product. Anyway, anyway guys, guys, that's the end of my empties video. I hope you've enjoyed that. Give a little thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you enjoy these products the same as me. That would be great. I'd love to hear from you. Click that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell as well. That would be great. And then I'll see you around for my next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye, guys.